let's let's before we go into the chat say what's up to everybody i was doing some research on parasites i don't know what i was doing i was at the computer and um i just took <laughs> i don't know what led me here but i said just parasite well i said parasites mind control no joke people this is what i did i'm gonna go into the chat in a second we're really gonna get started Yesterday, I said paras parasitic mind control or something, right? Something told me to do it, and I clicked news. Well, not maps. Hold on. I clicked news, people. Um, What did I say? It's right here. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Oh, I said parasitic, I have it right here, parasitic entities, mind control. And I click news. Genetically engineered mind control parasite could deliver drugs to the brain, my friends. So we're going to be going over this in the beginning. And I'm going to make sure I clip this part out and post it on the channel as well. Yeah, people. Bioengineered parasites may deliver meds to, to your brain. So um, there you go, people. This has already been happening. It's like, um, it's pretty crazy and mind blowing. So we could think everything's great and we're, we're these awakened beings and like we're going to enter paradise and we're going to change this world and stuff, people. I beg to differ, my friends. This is happening, whether we like it or not. And the pl this place is ending up to a place that we really don't want to be a part of, my friends. Okay. So we're going to talk about it. Positive parasites. Scientists are investigating the more dramatic theory that worms could improve. Look at this, people. The symptoms inside and out. Look at that, people. So we're gonna go over it uh, in a second. Before we do that, let's go into the chat real quick. Get, get this party started. What's up, everyone? So we have a lot of content to review today. So hopefully we could have the energy to make this a long one. So, and I tell you what, people, often if you see a stream up on my channel, and then it disappears. It's always because people like last time on Tuesday or whatever, Monday, I got off work or whatever. I was so in the zone to go live stream people. I was like, I'm in the zone. We're going to live stream. I set the live stream up 30 minutes before I got this overwhelming sensation of like being extremely drowsy and tired. And I passed out for 14 hours. People that happens to me a lot. I don't know what that's about, but. Much love to Gen C and Lies of the World. Welcome in, bro. Grounding or connecting to Earth's grid. I am not connecting my energy to this place through grounding. That's very interesting. That is very interesting to me. What's up, Mermaid A and Music Holds, Mermaid A, Gen C, Divine Spark, much love. Jake, what's up, bro? And what else we got here? Yeah, we have a lot of things. A lot of things, people. A lot of things to go over here. We're going to begin with the parasites, though. I want to talk about these damn things. Much love to carry skates. Um, Manel. Modern women are trash and shit. That's funny. Who or what created this bullshit reality? 
Um, I don't know. I don't know. But um, that's, a, that's a good question. You know, that's a good question. I don't know. I don't know what created it or why, when or how, or if this world was a certain way and it's changed to this parasitic overlay or something. If it was taken over, I I don't know if we're ever going to figure that out, people, while we're here. But we have to face the facts of what we're dealing with um, in this realm and um, stop playing pretend. That's That's what we need to do. People are playing pretend. We're gonna go. We're gonna visit the 5D Earth uh, trash as well. We have some videos to review on 5D Earth, and we're all transitioning to this new world and all this stuff. It's a, it's another new age nonsense. Uh, playing pretend. What's up, Loosh? Oh, okay, my bad. What's up, Tommy Rogers? It happens to me a lot, and I don't know, some sort of, um, yeah. They put stuff in the food to make you drowsy. I don't really eat that much anymore. Like, if barely one meal a day, honestly. I know some people have been talking about that, but I, I don't. But yeah, they definitely put shit in our food. Okay, people, let's get started. Much love. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's look. We have a lot of tabs here. We found an interesting documentary as well. We're going to talk about the genetically engineered mind controlling parasite first. And, um, So let's see here. Just gonna take a brief view at all these tabs I have here. We're gonna skim over it. Brain controlling sound waves used to steer genetically modified worms, my friend. And that's that's this is this is just yeah, we'll get into it. Johns Hopkins scientists create parasite-inspired micro device to gradually deliver drugs to the GI tract. Okay, people. Um, and many, many videos to review here. And we have, I found a really good one from... Um, Sergeant Schultz, we're going to get to the 5D Earth videos. Eric Dubé, uh, some from Deleted Truths, and some we still haven't gotten to. And some things about AI as well, because that's the new thing now that we're AI, you know what I mean? And we're like this artificial intelligence and stuff, so we're going to entertain that theory a little bit. So... All right, people, mind controlling parasites, the toxoplasmosis people. Um, I'm thoroughly convinced that these damn things are not a part of nature or like just, you know, a part of the cycle. Maybe it is a part of Earth, but this is this is a this is a big invasion. This is this is everything, people. Actually, hold on a second. Watch this. Before we get started with that, I, I found this. This is what led me down this path yesterday. It was this thing here. I'm glad I remembered that. Yeah, we have a we have a lot. Hopefully I can remember all of this. We're going to translate this to English. This is in Spanish. Parasites have killed more humans than wars, accidents, pandemics, plagues, and diseases combined. So we're going to go over this article as well. I think we'll start with um, with this. And we talk a lot about the parasites, but you know, this is in the news that they're they are engineering 
toxoplasmosis with um, to cross our blood brain barrier so they can get into our brains and our minds and control us. And they admit it here, people. But we need to understand that that's what they've been doing the entire time. You know what I mean? So there's many layers to this system. So parasites often manipulate the dopamine receptors in the host brain to cause behavior the host otherwise wouldn't engage in. The second parasite, or the parasite needs to release compounds that work through secondary messengers or directly influence genes often altering gene expression to create enduring impact people we talked a lot about this already but um that's what these things do manipulating gene expression your dopamine receptors your reward system in your brain people and we're all victims of this and it's on the it's on a big spectrum so let's Let's skim through these tabs here. So you can just put parasites mind control. You can click news, people. And this is what you're going to get. Let's pull this up. Genetically engineered mind control parasite could deliver drugs to the brain. Scientists are developing an engineered parasite to get drugs into the brain. And somebody said something on one of the last comments. I would definitely am, I'm glad I remembered this. They said, um, why would they let us talk about, if this is the ultimate truth or something, why would they let us talk about it? Why would they let that truth be out there? Well, I'll tell you why. It's all about data, people. They're going to put the truth right in our face. You know what I mean? It's all for data. They, they study everything that we do, every reaction, everything that's going on, and they'll put the truth out there. They'll let us talk about it. They'll let us gather and talk about it. And they don't care, people. They have such a stranglehold on this reality and such a wide range of people and souls. They don't give a shit if a few of us, 20 of us, know the absolute truth, people. The data of us discovering it, of us connecting and talking about it, and what we do in our lives with it and how we react is way more valuable than them just hiding it. So we need to have that understanding. Scientists are developing an engineered parasite to get drugs into the brain, people. What the fuck is going on here? An engineered parasite, huh? A parasite that invades the brain could be tweaked to deliver drugs, scientists say. There you go. And what parasite are they using? Toxoplasmosis Gandhi. Lurks. Look at this, people. Pay attention. Really, really understand this. This is the biggest truth out there, people. This is the number one truth. You're playing games, people. Okay. Yes, our, our awareness is raising. Everyone's raising their awareness, people. This is when they really come in and do another reset. Okay. So we are in like top of the ninth. You know, we're down eight points, two outs, two strikes, three balls. Like, we are at that juncture right now on this planet, okay? So, I think that, not to judge or anything, but to talk about the shape of the earth or different things, if you're a true truth or seeking truth and you're awake, to focus on this nonsense, I think is disgusting to me that's just my opinion i think we're too far in the game and we're too deep in this to be focusing focusing on nonsense and for people to that's why i had to unsub from so many channels it wasn't because i didn't like the person or whatever it was just seeing so many people cheerlead pointless talk pointless um stuff and also people that are clearly parasitic in nature now they aren't there for you. They don't give a shit about the truth. They want your energy. They want that attention. They turn into a parasite. And it's clear as day with a lot of these content creators. And to see people that I know, in the, what's this about? Why did it change? In the chat, cheerleading them like they're so great. Got so disgusting to me. Why they just, that I had to unsubscribe. 
So why did they just switch that up on me? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're going to read this article here. What's up, admin and cage? Okay. All right, guys, much love. Like and share the video, please. Okay, so listen up, people. This is extremely important, my friends. Once I once I got deep on these parasites, this shit is like, it's just like nothing else really matters. If I'm going to be here on the internet, putting myself out there and talking about things, nothing else matters anymore, people, but this stuff. You know what I mean? And... I find it very odd that people would have come across this information and not talk about it, people. If there's people out there putting their something out there, you're giving them their energy and they're not doing parasite cleanses or even talking about it, and they're a truther, people, that is suspect to me. That's super suspect. This is where it's out, okay? A parasite called Toxoplasmosis gondii lurks inside one in three people worldwide people and you know the real number is up to 90 95 even more percent right they admit one in three people they admit that people a mind control think about what what we're saying here a mind controlling parasite is in 33 percent of people and i'm telling you it's 95 percent. we've already showed the data on that that their testing is one to 10% effective and the number is really 95 to 98% worldwide, especially when you get in countries like CHINA and other countries around that area, you're talking about a whole nother ball game. That's why we don't see these people anywhere. Hiding, okay, <clears throat> one in three people hiding out in the brain and other organs. Now scientists have hijacked this microorganism to shuttle drugs into the brain, although they've yet to test the invention on humans, people. This system created these things, people. This is the, like I said, this is the manifestation of this demiurge, AI, whatever you want to call it, this god of this realm, okay, that's running the show right now. This is the physical manifestation of that, okay? And so when you talk about, and this is a hive mind system that we are all victims of. This is a gigantic agenda like you can never imagine, all right? And when we talk about, real quick, um, size, what is a size, size? of toxoplasmosis let's ask it that let's i like this little co-pilot thing now let's What does that mean? Let's let's uh let's figure this out real quick, people. We're gonna take our time today. Put this in perspective. Okay, that is point zero zero four millimeters. The mind controlling parasite people. That's what toxoplasmosis. So put this into perspective. They are engineering. They are uh, genetically re-engineering these things to deliver drugs to the brain. But look how small it is, people. Okay? We're at the point, and we've been past the point. You know what I mean? This is what's going on. This AI, whatever you want to call it, people, is 3D printing uh, these things on a microscopic level look how small those things are and they're controlling people's minds oh shit oh it's gonna do this to me today hold on a second so ridiculous 
So fucking ridiculous. I got to deal with this shit. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, my bad. Okay, let's keep going here. Let's get back to this article. Many drugs are difficult to deliver to the brain because the delicate or, delicate organ is protected by a tight membrane known as a blood-brain barrier, which allows only select substances to pass out of the bloodstream into these tissues. The barrier is especially impervious to large water attracting molecules, including many proteins. T. Gandhi easily bypasses the brain's security. Famously, when inside the brains of mice, the parasite causes rodents to forget their fear of cats. People typically pick up the parasite by swallowing it, and then it migrates into the brain of its own accord or with the co-opted help of immune cells. Most people develop no overt symptoms as a result of this, but a minority can develop symptoms, develop disease. Okay, people. Wow, they're such liars. Most develop no symptoms. You know what I mean? People that are suicidal, depression. They're not putting all this stuff in there, people. All these things going on is not necessarily from it, but with people dealing with all these types of things, people, they definitely have a parasitic infection. Okay? This is the culprit, my friends. This is this is the main tool of the soul tribe, soul tribe matrix. This is the main tool of these beings in the afterlife. When we leave this body and what we're going to face, this is its number one tool right in our face. All right? Right in our fucking face, people. So these researchers engineered the parasite so it could carry cargo, including large proteins and packages of multi-proteins to brain cells and then release their loads into the cells, people. All right, my friends. And what we need to understand is this is not going to happen. This is what's been happening anyway. This is just shit they're putting out there to collect data, people. Okay. We need to understand this. The team demonstrated this approach in test tubes, blah, blah, blah. Get out of my face, you clowns. Many of the study authors are now blah, blah, blah. What else we got here? That's it? Okay. This parasite seems to do everything we would need to solve the problem of brain delivery. Brain delivery. MIT's. Brian, okay. Transforming the parasite into a system took years of work during which was earning a doctrine, blah, blah, blah. So this is kind of explaining the, when the researchers engineered or injected these engineered parasites into mice, the rodents didn't get sick. This is the whole AI agenda right here, people. All right. And so when we talk about NANO stuff and all that stuff going on and, oh, they're going to have nanobots and all. That's what this stuff is. It's already been here all along, people. And just like they re-engineer our avatars every age, there's clear evidence of that, especially in scriptures and mythology. Every age, every reset, they re-engineer the avatars with specific limitations based on data. Okay? And so the same thing with these parasites, people. Back in the days when we were talking about dragons and serpents and these giant things, people, these were parasites. And every age, they re-engineered these things. This is the physical manifestation of this demiurge, AI, piece of trash, parasitic god that we've been dealing with many, many lifetimes, people. And during this age right now, this is what, this is its physical manifestation. That's my big message with this. When the researchers injected their engineered parasites into mice, the rodents didn't get sick. However, T. Gandhi isn't always harmless. In humans, especially those with weakened immune systems, the parasite can sometimes replicate out of control, damaging the brain, heart, and eyes. It also poses a risk to growing fetuses. 
and can lead to severe consequences like blindness or brain damage, people. And again, I'll say it again, people. Blindness or brain damage, people. And again, I know people don't like it and people want to run away and, and play pretend and not believe this is a fact. This is exactly what's been going on with a lot of kids, people. It's They want to give their labels and their blanket diagnoses with this wide range of symptoms, but it's all brain damage, people. It's all these parasites, in my opinion, not medical advice. You know what I mean? This is entertainment. Okay? This is all the... Um, let's put this up there. What was I saying? It's all brain damage. And that's a bona fide fact. You can't tell me otherwise. They could give their little words and blanket diagnoses. It's all brain damage. And I believe, in my opinion, this is what we're talking about. This is the culprit. Okay? All right, people. And who's talking about this? Nobody. Nobody. Would all these other things matter when we're dealing with this, people? Think about it. What is the point? What are people really here for? Why do they deserve our attention if they're going to look past this and not even talk about it? Or they're not doing parasite cleanses. Why we want to give a an, a parasite-infected person our energy, people, it's not worth it. They're not worth it, people. Trust me. T. Gandhi strain still imposed. And when you're talking about blindness and brain damage, people, um, damages to the fetus, damaging the brain, um, replicating out of control with weakened immune systems, this and that, people. Um, when's the last time anyone you've seen that suffered from eye damage or brain damage or a child with this and that? When's the last time you ever heard because it was a, from this parasite? Never, people. They're never going to tell you, all right? So, moving this technology forward will require scientists to neuter the parasite, making it as harmless as possible. Look at this, people. Look at where the world's headed with this, people. Look at this. They're re-engineering a mind-controlling parasite that they emit in 33% of people. And that's their words, you know? That's mind-blowing, people. That is fucking mind-blowing. Okay, let's make sure we get rid of these tabs here. All right. What else we got here? So we have this, um, some videos about this topic coming up we're going to get to okay just want to make sure i stay organized with all this stuff i don't want to miss anything and so i don't want to get much into the technology and stuff um I noticed when I got into this technology, it was just so much going on every hour that it was, I, I knew what was going on. It's, it's an endless rabbit hole of nonsense. And there's some important stuff here to, to study the enemy's movements, trust me. But I realized very quickly that the technology is this beast revealing itself based on data. You know what I mean? Whatever our data is being decoded as is the AI re relinquishing its boundaries based on our data. This plan, that's exactly what's going on. So to see they're at this juncture now um, says a lot where, where our data is reading, in my opinion. A remote, long-range, and large-volume mind-control device was unveiled in South Korea with plans to use the tech for non-invasive medical procedures, people. Okay? So, and we need to understand this stuff has been going on all along, people. 
And so this technology is being trickled down from this hive mind system that we have no connection. You know what I mean? Now to our mainstream scientists are now fucking around with this shit. Okay. But this is not new stuff. This has been going on for eons here. So I'm not going to get too much into it. You could do your research. Sophisticated artificial neural networks, two-way brain computer interface technologies, and new treatments for neurological disorders, people. So I don't know, people. Despite the science fiction quality and of remote mind control, health experts noted that magnetic fields have been used successfully in medical imaging for decades. So, yeah, people, this is kind of where we're at. Let's see what this is. Let's watch this video. Hold on. Monterey Bay Aquarium, inspiring conservation of the ocean. Let's see what this is about. What's going on here? Get out of my face with your fucking ads. Hold on a second. What's going on with the internet, people? This is ridiculous. Okay. With regards to implanted brain augmentation, it lets the user control computer interfaces with their mind. However, a new study might be nightmare fuel for some, as scientists were able to do the opposite. Control mice with the flick of a switch. The mice were engineered with nanoparticle activated switches in their brains. This is a far cry from previous mind control experiments. Ones where surgically implanted electrodes were required. This new experiment didn't need any of that. With the researchers simply engineering the mice and then turning on a magnetic field. The researchers say they were able to enhance the natural behaviors of mother mice, with the females reacting more quickly and intensely to the cries of baby mice. Amongst mice who were introduced to strangers, they found when the magnetic field was washing over their brains, they were friendlier. Researchers were also able to turn on or off a mouse's hunger. Sorry, that's super loud. It's super loud on my end, and my volume's super low. Hold on a minute. Researchers were also able to turn on or off a mouse's hunger response. They're calling the tech magnetogenic interface for neurodynamics. Mice who were introduced to strangers, they found when the magnetic field was washing over their brains, they were friendlier. Researchers were also able to turn on or off a mouse's hunger response. Wow. When they turn on the magnetic fields, the mice were friendlier, people. We're, in, we're a giant experiment, my friends. Okay. That's what Earth is. We're a giant experiment, people. We're in a giant petri dish to be fucked up. Oh my god, people. We need to wake up to this. It's, this is a red alert situation. Oh my god. It, oh man. They're calling the tech magnetogenic interface for neurodynamics, or nanomind for short. With the study senior author saying, this is the world's first technology to freely control specific brain regions using magnetic fields. Oh, great. So exciting. We love technology so great. The world's headed to hell in a handbasket, people. It's time to wake the, wake the hell up, people. Okay? Okay, so let's keep moving forward here. Where's our next tab? Maybe we'll talk about some cleanses. I'll leave this one up. We might get to that in a little bit. Brain controlling sound waves used to steer genetically modified worms, people. This is 2015. So they've been talking about this stuff for a long time, people. Um whoa what a cool thing optogenetics there's a cool a new cool mind-bending tool in town yay this is so cool and fun a group of scientists discovered a new way to control neurons using bursts of high pitch sound pulses in worms people 
this was the plan all along, people, to get us all infected with these things. We have all these things going on. And then to really get this hive mind system going with this technology, uh, sound pulses and electric magnetic uh, energy weapons and stuff like that to really fuck us up. You know what I mean? Sonogenetics, I scientists to say a new method can control brain, heart, and muscle cells directly from outside the body, circumventing the need for invasive brain implants such as microfibers used in optogenetics. There you go, people. And so, anyways, I don't want to read this whole thing. I really don't. I, we have a lot to get to. But just doing some quick research, it's like, okay, yeah, I see what's going on. Genetically modified worms, people. You think these fucked up scientists like Bill Gates, this and that? When they have, um, and these are just from, and we know that. You think these parasites have all these all these weapons on a microscopic level, aren't releasing these things, already haven't people on our asses? You better fucking believe it, people. These are the monsters, people. You know what I mean? These are the demons. These are the dragons. In um, scripture and um, the Bible and mythology, and they talk about these giant worms and they're like slaying the serpent and stuff like that. That's what these things are, people. All right? These monsters of the sea. We're the sea. These are the monsters, people. They've already invaded. We They're already in place. So, and they want us to focus on these monsters and all these mythological characters while we're all infected with these things. And they're very opportunistic. You know? Just like different cysts and things like that. What it is is these parasites creating a shield around itself. Um, waiting for the opportunity for our immune system to um, drop down or things like that. They might they might lay an assist in your body for 30, 40 years before your immune system is at the point where it can burst and start spreading and really get at you. You know? So we need to understand these things. It's very important. Johns Hopkins University <laughs> created a fanged micro device that sinks its teeth into mucous membranes and unleashes drugs gradually over time. And so there you go, people. This is already happening. The parasite inspired devices, which the researchers call the rage. Thurid grippers, thurid grippers, each come equipped with a drug-loaded polymer patch. The thurid grippers are designed to change shape inside the body and latch onto the GI tract, which puts the tiny patches in place to release their drug payload, scientists at the school's Department of Chemical and Bio Biomolecular Engineer said. Could stick around the rodents' colons for a day, leading to higher... Yeah, whatever. Get out of my face, you pieces of trash. Built from metal... Hold on. Metal thin films armed with sharp micro tips and capped with a heat-sensitive wax layer. Once they reach internal body temperature, the wax layer softens, causing the device to fold. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, so we're going to go here right now. We're going to go here. And then we're really going to move forward. We're going to get to some videos in a second. So, again, people, this is the size of the mind-controlling parasite that's infected, in my opinion, 95 98% of the population worldwide. And they admit 33%. That's pretty high, people. For them to admit... And this is their words, people. This is mind-blowing. This is so mind-blowing. For them to admit 
of people worldwide are infected with a mind controlling parasite people that's a red alert situation to me you know and when especially in america when do they ever talk about that when what why is there no awareness of this people 33 percent of people are infected with this size of a parasite that's crossed their blood brain barrier to control their minds people that's so mind-blowing to me uh, that's just that's bizarre and there's just no awareness of it at all nobody cares why do people nobody cares why does nobody care because they're infected with a mind controlling parasite people how many oh my god do you know how many times i try to talk to people about this very subtle it might take me knowing somebody for a year or two years or five years or you know months or days before there's an opportunity for me to say hey you know i've learned about these parasites you might want to do your research check out this video this is actually a parasitic infection people almost all of them actually about all of them except people on here immediately have this governor on their brain because they are parasitic mind controlled of this immediate rejection to where now it's like i have these cooties or something and they're scared of me people to this day to this day there are a number of people in my actual physical life that i brought these up to in a very mild form and they are now scared of me just because i said the word parasite why is that people because they're infected people and the parasites um creating that reaction to disinformation that's how deep this goes people that crazy so there you go people let's get into this let's go into the chat for a second Ooh, that's a good one. Um, the thing with cats and parasites and these things, I think that they're wrong about where these things come from and they only come from cats. I think there's a lot more to the story and they lie to us a lot. So the origins of these parasites and their whole life cycle, I think there's a lot more to it, people. Okay. And remember when we showed that rainwater, and I don't know if it's real or not, I can't prove it, underneath a microscope, and that all these parasites, people, these microscopic parasites in the rainwater. This is much, this is coming from a this is much deeper than just the cats, but I hear you on that. Yes, sir, or yes, ma'am. Okay. Toxoplasmosis. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think we should make up our mind on exactly where we know. What's up, NH guy? Possible, though. Papa Will. Nice. Yeah, if you have any links, what's up, uh, Watchman? Just Frank. And LA two B one one. What's up, Joe Moore? Yep. I'm gonna start taking a glass of water for brushing the teeth in the shower and the only thing with chemicals and God knows what in there, yeah. Well, so here we go, people. We're gonna move on. Actually, we have some videos too to get to. So let's get let's get going here. So with an keeping an open mind, people. Okay, keeping an open mind um, with this, and some things are hard pills to swallow with this. Okay, 
And I've noticed that with people, like when I was showing the people that developed, um, like these different people that developed brain tumors all of a sudden, and as soon as they got the brain, tumor, which is a parasite, you know what I mean? As soon as they got it, they turn into like a, 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 a murderer or a pedophile. I mean, you have, and again, we don't know what to believe, but there are instances where these people all of a sudden turn into one of these psychopaths as soon as they got this uh, brain tumor or whatever it might be, you know? So let's keep going. Parasites have killed more humans than all wars, accidents, pandemics, plagues, and diseases combined. Why? Because apart from the fact that parasites have been deadly, efficient, in the art of killing, they are also the main cause of most of the situations mentioned above. Damn right, people. There's more. Parasites are also responsible for a large part of society's dysfunctions. And this is abuse, violence, deception, greed, rape, pedophilia, homosexuality, etc. They are persistent, dangerous, and deadly serial killers who can take over our senses, sight, taste, smell, mind, emotions, and soul, and turn us into mindless zombies, only to then get rid of us like bags of dirt when they get bored of us. This right here, what they're saying here, people, is is a hard pill to swallow. It really is. And um, it needs to be considered <clears throat> as at least an option of what's going on with these things. For me, this is the truth. I believe that this is what's going on. Okay? But these parasites aren't just operating. I'm not just talking about these physical parasites. I'm talking about mental physical and spiritual i mean this is a whole hive mind system manifesting itself as thoughts um thought forms manifesting itself in the physical world like these parasites we're talking about and manifesting itself um and spiritually because they're obviously running the show in the astral realm or whatever that realm is when we leave here whatever that is is ran by the same system so let's keep going The butterfly in your stomach, the tingling of your tip of your tongue, the feeling of unusual stimulation you felt towards someone or something, the cravings for unhealthy food, habit and lifestyle can all be parasites that live out their fantasies within you, though you, through you, as though they do. Oh, hold on a second. Let's read. Let's check this out, people. Let's let's talk about this. The butterfly in your stomach, the tingling of the tip of your tongue the feeling of unusual stimulation you felt towards someone or something the feeling of unusual stimulation you felt towards someone or something people and i'm telling you these different people that lust for multiple partners and go around and i'm not hating on nobody and and especially men that go around and they obsess with their physical appearance and go around and sleep from one girl to the next they are a host for the parasites. The parasites have chosen them to be a host and to focus on their looks and to focus on bouncing around and sleeping around as a host to spread this high mind system. For me, that's a bona fide fact, people. And there's proof of that. We, we talked a lot about it. The cravings for unhealthy food, habit, and lifestyle can all be parasites that live out their fantasies within you. And though you, as they do when they send, what? Television signals to your brain while you sleep to make you believe you are dreaming. Whoa. And through you, as they do when they send television signals, they, they just word this wrong to your brain while you sleep to make you believe you are dreaming. That's deep stuff. And they're saying that they're sending television signals to our brain while we sleep to make us believe we are dreaming. Wow, that's deep. Parasites are also telepathic, meaning they can communicate with each other at a distance to achieve a goal of changing the culture, direction, and purpose or sense of being 
of a host collective into a collective people. So you can, and you know, the people that have just, people I really liked and really connected with that once I discovered this truth and I was emotional about it and I would call out these other topics and stuff and they're still interesting topics and I like the people that talk about it still, but for them to just, to, I don't know, I'm not going to get into it, but they're, they're telepathic. <clears throat> they communicate with each other. This is a high mind system. This is a high mind system of the matrix people. Changing culture, direction, and purpose of or sense of being of a host into a collective. There you go, people. They enter humans through the air we breathe, the ground we walk on, the food we eat, the things and people we touch. They enter the residue of our in our digestive system and form. And from there, they migrate and take over every organ. Parasites invade privileged immune systems, such as the central nervous system or the eye. And from there, manipulate how and what you feel, see, smell, or hear, as well as your uh, response to these senses. They also turn off our natural defenses against harmful bacteria, pathogens, viruses, and other parasites, people. That's just mind blowing. That is fucking mind blowing. How serious is the parasite problem? Think of all the inquisitions of wars before World War II. Hitler and his calculated reaction when he gave. Okay, we're not going to read that part. The mind controlling parasites are capable to create and magnify the threats in our minds. Think about this, people. The parasites create and magnify the threats in our minds, mocking and carving our reaction to these thoughts to create an environment of overwhelming fear and insecurity that causes a gloomy atmosphere that empowers and allows the parasites to continue to rule our heads to work to our own detriment as a case with, you know what? One square of sushi can contain 10,000 eggs of this parasite. Wow, that's... Each segment can grow and lay up to 1 million eggs a day, people. That's just mind-blowing. Can cause you to itch, abdominal joint pain, feminine problems, and sleep problems, people. Almost always. Almost always. These are the, again, the fiber optic cables of the matrix system, people. That's what we're dealing with. These are the monsters. These are the serpents. Okay? And so most of the time in the Bible as well, people, we need to understand when they're talking about serpents and stuff, they're talking about worms, people. You know? They're talking about worms, all this mythology and stuff. They're talking about these worms, the fiber optic cap cables of the matrix, people. Only a piece of trash, fucked up matrix, demiurge God would create these damn things to control our minds. And let these pieces of trash re-engineer them to control our minds. And look the other way and, and you know, bring us no awareness of this. Only a piece of trash God would let this happen. All right. We're not home, people. More than one billion people are infested with whipworms. Roundworms cause pneumonia. There you go, people. Check. See what I'm saying, people? Look at this. Hold on. I have so many like links, hundreds and hundreds of links of different categories and stuff that a lot of things we haven't even gotten to. So when I look, want to look up, like I have a lot of things on mythology. Um, 
of uh, the serpents and stuff. But um, so I can't find I can't find the image. The anyways, I'm not gonna be able to find the exact image that I'm looking for of these things because what were we looking at? Hold on, look at this, people. This is a hookworm. This is a hookworm, people. They they eat the intestinal walls. And feast on human blood. It doesn't matter how clean you are, vegan, raw vegan, fasting a lot, praying a lot, eating little. You have parasites. You can get rid of them completely without eliminating the friendly bacteria, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, people, it doesn't matter how clean you are. If you're vegan, raw vegan, fasting a lot, praying all the time, eating a little, you have these, you, you probably got this going on. This is... The snake biting its own tail. This is what gets us to recycle, people. This is the whole looping system, people, is these damn things. This is a worm, people. All right? So uh, maybe I'll try to find... I have a whole file on this somewhere. But all this mythology and stuff, and then you go look at all the symbolism with the serpent and worms. And scripture, you know, and, and and the the scriptures. I see. I haven't even gotten to this of God, um, you know, infecting you through the blood or stuff like that. These are the parasites. Okay, we're actually going to show proof of that. Oh yeah, I have something else. Um, of God saying, "How dare you disobey me?" Hold on. Um, let's look at this. Hold on a second. Things like this. This scripture here. And you will suffer severe sickness, a disease of your bowels, people, until your bowels come out because of the sickness day by day. There you go, people. What do you think they're talking about? These are parasites, a disease of your bowels until your bowels come out because of the sickness day by day, people. These are the demiurge parasitic gods. People, this is the god of these belief systems, people. It's all one entity. This is a fucking parasite piece of trash. All right. So anyways, let's get back to it. Let's finish this off here. Look at this thing, people. Oh, yeah, we're pretty much done with this. But there you go, people. I mean, I'm else, else to say about it. Let's get to YouTube and regroup here. Let me pull up my playlist on parasites. I think we got a quick video. We're going to. We're going to get off of this topic. We have a lot of... I want to get into the 5D Earth stuff next. So there's a public playlist on my channel. It's called Parasites. And we have 92 videos there now. And I've been putting new ones there. Let's pull this up. One second, guys. I need to regroup. This is this is kind of long, but this is from Rob Skiba. Uh, fair use. I found this yesterday. He talks about host manipulation through parasitic mind control and how 
it relates to the mark of the beast, blah, blah, blah. He talks a lot about scripture and stuff. I'm not really into that, but let's play some of this. Let's check it out for a minute. I forgot. There's a point here. The soul of a being is in the blood. The soul is in the blood. Well, some of you may have been following some of my work and know that I've got some physical issues going on, um, neurological stuff. Uh, it's actually improving. Uh, I've been going to a messianic Jewish chiropractor who works miracles. Uh, this man knows the Lord big time. Uh, we'll do different things. A sample of blood from my pinky, you put it on a slide, put it over here. And then he said, don't press your finger or anything, just let the blood ooze out naturally. Uh, for a couple seconds there, so we waited. And they took another glass slide and we smudged it once, smudged it twice, smudged it three times. Okay, so we're going to get through some of this, people. Check this out. So he's talking about when he has a lot of things going on, and um, the doctor took one drop of his blood and put it underneath a microscope, people. All right? So check this out. Check, listen to it. We're going to get through this. We're not going to play all of it, but... Look at the live sample, the, the drop of blood, and I'll show you that in a minute. But when we, after we did all that, looked at the live sample, we went back, the other blood had dried. It was just smudged and it dried. And we're looking at the smudge that represented the first third of my life under this microscope. And he comes to that right there. And I hadn't said a word to this guy. He turns to me and he says, you ever break or dislocate your collarbone? I said, yeah, dude, when I was like nine years old. He said, well, that's it right there. I said, Who, what are you talking about? He says, you know, scripture says life is in the blood, right? I'm like, yeah. He says, it's like a carbon copy. It records everything. And he says, that's the imprint. Of it. And he pointed to it, a plastic skeleton in the corner. He said, look at the clavicle. I look at the clavicle. I look at that. And, you know, it's the same. Wow, people, this is fucking mind blowing. Life is in the blood. And can you believe that this doctor said to him, Did you ever have a collar? Just looked at a drop of his blood and said, Did you ever have a collarbone broken in your life? Yeah, when I was nine. And he can read that in his blood, people. Think about this, people. Whoa, this is crazy. And they're so adamant about taking our blood all the time, especially when we're born, people. There's written codes for them to get our data. You know what I mean? They want to, there's more than just what they say they're looking for in our blood. There is the coding of our soul, of our lifetimes, of our data, not in just this life, in other lifetimes. I believe um, written and coded in here. And they want to know, maybe they don't know what soul's incarnating where. So they want to know which soul came in, where they're at, their location, their data, so they can target it specifically based on their data. You know? Think about it, people. And I've been saying this for years, actually, since I started the channel and I got deep into AI. I realized the main goal of science is um, it's much deeper than what's on the surface. There's a lot of coding that they want to decode written in our blood that they want that data and um, feed it to the system for various reasons. Especially people like me, us, they definitely want to know where we're going in each lifetime, where we are. Like there he is, there's Ian, he's over there now in this life. And specifically target us based on our data. Why do you think so many people on this level of truth that has woken up had such crazy hard lives, a lot of them too? Okay. Because they want to put us with, make us, have us make agreements with specific circumstances to make us, it that much harder on us for us to wake up to this level. That's just my opinion. It's just a, a possibility, something to think about. Let's continue. He said, that's the imprint in the first year of your life of your injury. I hadn't told the guy anything, and he's reading my mail. <laughs> and he keep, kept looking again. I hadn't said anything. He turns to me and he said, you had respiratory problems, too, in the first third of your life, didn't you? I said, yeah, I had asthma until age 12. He said, well, that's it right there. And he pointed to it. <clears throat> I'm like, whoa. And we looked at the middle third. It was the healthiest time of my life, and it showed that. And then we looked at the last third of my life, and it showed some of the pathology that I'm dealing with now. So uh, he made me a believer. I'm like, well, what do I do with that? This guy's reading my mail. He's looking at my blood. But he's proven to me from a scientific point of view what the scriptures are telling us. Thousands of years ago, the life is in the blood. That's not all that was in my blood. 
Here's some screenshots. <laughs> yeah, your blood is supposed to be, you know, you see some fairly normal cells up there that, you know, it's supposed to be nice and round, some translucent, and it's supposed to be flowing nice and free. Well, mine are all on big trap again, slam together and pull it up. That's fungus in the top left. That's a parasite on the right. That's a cell eating amoeba there on the middle left. In all the dark spots in the middle, there are cells that it had previously eaten. And we sat and watched it literally suck live cells in as it was eating myself. Uh, uh, that's cholesterol there on the right. And then down here, you see this deer looking cell right there. It's got little bumps all over it. This whole section right here, all of it. Cancer. 25% cancer cells out of my pinky. That, that came out of my pinky. And I'm going, that came out of my pinky. What's going on in the rest of my body? You know, uh, you know, different things in there. I'm looking, I'm like, freak, why am I still alive? And now it's going to get people. This is just the images. They're about to show the live video of them looking at this one drop of blood from his pinky. We're going to go over it. Hi. So I'm going to kind of camp out here on the edge. This is what I call Death Valley. <laughs> mm. And uh, so this is where I look for the oxidative stress, which is what we call, you know, use that C word. Sorry, my mic was very low. So hopefully it's good now. My bad. Damn, that sucks. Uh, Thank you. Get a feel for ratio. Yeah, right. this is Geogardia. Whoa, mm. right here. Whoa, it's huge. Oh, Geogardia, another parasite. Look at that, people. Look at this. A feel for ratio. Yeah, right. this is Geogardia. Whoa, it's huge. Oh, Hello. There's another one right there. Look at that, people. <laughs> I feel like I'm watching the Star Trek episode. Right. Okay, so we're moving into this is you're starting they're starting to show up. This is what cancer cancerized or oxidative stress is in the body. And it, it, it literally this the cells shape shift, they mutate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not around anymore. Yeah, and you can see that process in there. This is on the edge of the blood, or what? Yeah, this is it's where you where you find that that um, where I find it. So you need to see the problem. Yeah. Got to know what it was in the first. So if you just watch this right here, you can see the cells actually coming through, mm -hmm. and you can see the mutations. Mm -hmm. yeah. What we're looking at here is about a 25% ratio. I don't know. It's not good. I mean, it's fixable. Yeah. And your timing is perfect. As <laughs> you can see here, it's mm -hmm. really kind of just it's not good. Wax. Oh no, it's not good. Tumors and tumor markers, according to the medical tests, usually come in with around a 35% ratio, so you kind of borderline. Yeah. People, look at this. This is all proving exactly what I'm talking about, people. This is this is this is definite evidence of what I speak of. Look. Whoa. What is that? 
That's a fucking par- blood parasite, people. All right. The Geogardia blood parasite. I think it's a uh, Geogardia parasite. Hold on. Geogardia intestinalis causes the infection. A tiny parasite called is an intestinal disease marked by diarrhea, cramps, nausea, and bloating. Um, this is what a lot of people are dealing with as well. These geogardias that he's talking about, and he's showing an image of it in his blood. And again, we can't trust their exact science or what they talk about here because they're showing it in his pinky finger. But this is what a lot of people are dealing with, people. So let's get back to the video, though. Look at this thing. Real big. And what this is is cell meticulation. What they do is it's osmotic. It absorbs the cells. You can see these cells are being mm. absorbed Pulled in. into it. Yeah, and that's what this is right here. It's the energy of the cells being drawn in, and then it it's just so evil. it just feeds. And look, that's that's the cells being drawn into this parasite and then look it's like this grid um this is a technology people this is no fucking game the thing is is that we can see the robotic technology and stuff right and we should already know that the technology is going to merge to this type of stuff it's going to go away from this robotic type stuff people this is people and it's going to go to these almost real physical um, things being re-engineered or things like that, you know? So we need to get away from this whole robotic nano stuff. Like this is, this is what we're talking about. Well, my point is that this is a technology people. All right. It's off of them. And so it leaves this. That's what's left of the old yeah, the cells. Tribes. It's kind of the tribes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Exactly. And so this is a technology that's um, always been a part of this realm or entered a realm, invaded this realm. This is a technology that even our top scientists know about, but they don't know the big picture. They're all here studying these things and like, oh, we re-engineered these, all this. It's all about collecting the data on it and studying us. You know what I mean? It's all about collecting the data, putting the truth right in our face to see us react to it, find it, talk about it, things like that. So. Whoa. And this is how they really find us out, people. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is really, there's Ian. He's right there. You know what I mean? That's why they really have to put the truth out there. They want to see the ones that are remembering again what's going on. And, um, you know what I mean, are waking up because they know and we're just going to keep doing it. Us that are aware that are really, a, you know, on this certain level spiritually and keep recycling. They keep brain, brain wipe, uh, mind wiping us. They know we're going to reach that point again. They want to put us in specific situations and circumstances to make it harder on us. And then they got to put the truth out there. So. Then they can really find out where we are because we're right here talking about it and looking at it saying now i remember this is what i've been looking for my whole life you know so got a few of those running around man. yeah you've had these guys for a while <laughs> i guess so george john paul <laughs> <laughs> no. man it's huge look at that one well, the thing is, is there's only one drop of blood yeah, no wonder everybody went crap and can't remember. Anything. Yeah, I mean, if you only have, if you have all this in one drop. So you, this oh is, my gosh, this is Lord like, help us. This is the, this is really a kind of a zone. So all these cells are completely gone. Dead. Junk. You can't turn these back. You 
just head to life for now. It's okay. So that was prior to the treatment. This is treatment. This is the same or another drop of blood after 14 treatments. Let's check it out. Still shaky, huh? Sometimes more so. Think about that, people. Are the doctors, what's up, uh, Adrian? Are, the, are 17 Joy? Everyone in the chat, much love. We we are just getting started, my friend. We have a lot to get to today, and I feel good about it. So we're going to be here a while for sure, I imagine. So this is what we need to understand. When we do these diagnostics and these blood tests and stuff like that, these doctors and scientists, they are getting specific data and telling us certain things about deficiencies and stuff like that. But the hive mind parasitic system that's really running the show is really getting all the data of things like this. Doctors aren't looking and they're not supposed to looking underneath a microscope at the blood at this type of stuff. Only a real doctor would do that in discovering this people. This is a gigantic agenda of the medical system. Um, so, Can you close those a little bit? Just right there? Do you mind? Oh man, that's good, that's good. Thank you. Look at oh, his blood now, wow. like treatments. Something worked. That's awesome. Yeah, you know. Wow. wow, that's amazing. Look at them, they're round. Doc, that's amazing. It's beautiful. Compared to the traffic jam I had before. Oh my gosh, that's life. It's encouraging. It's very encouraging. Wow. Do you often see that kind of improvement? Yes, very, very successful at <laughs> intervention into your blood. <laughs> yeah, no, well, I these guys bouncing off of some. Well, that's all bacteria. It's one of the reasons why you're so shaky. You got about three different <clears throat> bacteria in there that we, we, we really need to ramp up. <clears throat> I mean, from my perspective, really, you know, the first time I see you, you know, it's kind of a okay, it's a generalized train wreck and. And um, and so, but really, where we're going to start seeing is once you've been through about six, eight weeks of work, and we've hit the core level of your body, and kind of just pulling up everything. I don't know if he gets into the treatments, but I think he does lead us somewhere onto a website that I looked at. I can't recall, but we'll get to it. Um, but it says a lot about this place, or who's running the show or what's going on um, in this realm for fetuses, I mean, babies before they're born and children um, in the beginning of their life to be attacked by these things. You know what I mean? Haven't had a chance to live yet. And they're going out of their way to infect everyone with these things especially the children. Why isn't there not a big uprising? I never would have thought that creating a YouTube channel, searching for truth and uh, meeting people and creating somewhat of a, well, you know, meeting people and still searching for truth for me to actually discover what I've been looking for. And most of the content creators that I've um, grown to like and, and connected with don't give a shit. And they just continue to loop or most people don't care. I would have never thought it would be like this. I would have thought that when I we discovered this ultimate truth, now it's really on against the matrix. And now it's really war, you know? Instead, it's just a few of us discovering the truth while they're focusing on nonsense, people. I just, it's crazy, but you know what? I, I accepted it. Yeah. 
So yeah, and that's where we start seeing what what is what is really your core issues. It's pretty dramatic the improvement. Oh yeah. How do you feel? That looks a lot better than last time. It'll give you a little little step. Mm -hmm. you can see this. And that's a testimony that, mm -hmm. that uh, you know this stuff works. Mm -hmm. You know, now we went through some natural homeopathic stuff, the herbs and different things, and, and then some rife treatment, if you know what rife is, we used frequencies and stuff uh, to get rid of it, um, and cleaned out just about everything, except for some bacteria. There was still bacteria, but it got rid of the fungus, it got rid of the cell-eating amoebas, and I had no cancer. They got me on an alkaline diet, uh, you know, thank you, uh, alkaline water and stuff like that, because cancer cannot live in an alkaline environment. So that can tell you a lot right there. I don't think there's just one thing or that, but you can see different sound treatments, different herbs, things like that, my medical advice. Um, you know, we need to talk about these things, though. We need to talk about these. But I think that there's many different ways to get to this point that he did from the before and after. I don't think it's just one set thing. Um, so... So, I mean, they don't tell you any of this stuff, you know, in the medical community. Now, if I went to the doctor with some of the stuff that I had, who knows what they would have pumped through? I, mean, I went to this guy, he's after me with some little lightsaber things, and you know, for seven treatments, and take some drops under my tongue, and seven weeks later, you know, or 14 treatments later, no cancer, and all the parasites are gone, and everything. Okay, but life is in the blood is not just your life. There's other stuff in your blood if, you're, if you don't know how to take care of yourself. Now me, where did I get this? I don't know. I mean, I was a missionary. I traveled to third world countries, and I was in the jungles of India. And yeah, let's continue this a little bit. Let's speed it up, and we'll see where it goes. There's like 15 minutes left. We probably won't get through the whole thing, but let's play a little bit more. Africa and all the fun stuff. Who knows where I got some of this stuff? But you know, you probably have too if you walk around barefoot. <laughs> That's all it takes to pick up parasites. You know, if you've got animals, bring them. You definitely have them. Uh, people in third world countries know about this stuff, so they drink certain kind of teas and eat herbs and stuff like that because they know they have it, so they purge it out. Americans have no clue. Most and this want. proves the whole manifestation nonsense. A lot of it's BS. New age nonsense, people. New age nonsense. Most people aren't even aware of these things. They never even think about it. They have never were taught about these parasites. They're totally infected, not aware of it. How did they create that for themselves, people? Think about it. Around it. And the symptoms that you get from parasites, mimic uh, lupus, uh, MS, a lot of things that people are di being diagnosed with can be simply treated by going to your local vitamin store and taking vital You know, get rid of parasites. Now, when it comes to parasites, check this video out, Parasite Mind Control. Yeah. All right, we're in. Ants are a part of the most disciplined, dedicated social system on Earth, until that is... They become slaves to behavior controlling parasites. Suddenly, these pro ants no longer serve the colony. They're taking their orders from the parasite. Okay, let's back up. How did this happen? It all begins when the ants in any town USA consume the slime of a passing snail. They divide it up and take it back to the colony. This is a blunder of epic proportions. Turns out, the slime is loaded with eggs of a body snatcher called the liver fluke, the type of flatworm. The liver fluke burrows into a part of the ant's brain, and for unknown reasons... Thank you. I want to talk a little bit more about this manifestation bullshit. Um, I could give so many examples of um, people at the point where us being aware of this, we're creating it for ourselves. For being aware of the deception in the astral realm, for being aware of the parasites that we're creating this for ourselves, people, that is an absolute lie and um, absolutely disgusting. This whole manifestation, new age, five year shit. Okay. And this realm, on a certain level, we should manifest on our reality and create good things and live our life. I get that. But at the same time, at this point, on on, on a, at least some level, this realm doesn't deserve a lot of that energy from us. And it wants to eat that up and um, 
us to eat that up and play pretend us and for us to think that we're manifesting all this stuff for ourselves and it's all our fault people this is a big agenda okay so us being aware of this evil around us and these evil parasites that are people different things around us we're not creating it for ourselves we're not playing pretend and we are aware okay just want to put that on the table let's continue it's, it's almost like the flu enslaves the ants and orders them to carry it to their next hosts any grazing mammal host with a nice warm liver will do but in this case a cow appears the liver fluke worms can switch the ants behavior on and off causing the infected ants to place themselves in easy to eat positions at dusk when mammals are feeding no cows in sight Ants act normal. Cows appear. Ants are, in essence, ordered to take their positions in purple flowers and latch on. The cows ingest the vegetation of the ants and the flu larvae inside the ants all in one bite. Once inside the cow, the worms burrow out of the stomach and into the liver, where they develop into adults and dine on liver tissue. They lay eggs that are excreted from the liver into the they get in the bloodstream of this is the whole agenda with the meat and this whole system we're, we're dealing with. I'm not vegan or nothing. I'm not perfect. I'm whatever. You know what I mean? But this is the entire agenda, people, to infect us with parasites. Okay? Especially the blood of these animals. Big time infected. Wild that, and then defecated by the cows. They don't kill the cows, but the cows become weak and emaciated devastating herds and all because of parasitic mind control okay now let that sink in all right microscopic parasite comes out of a snail and eats it it controls the ant's brain because it's a liver fluke so it wants to get inside a mammal's liver so it controls the ant when the appropriate time he's doing his thing and all of a sudden cow walk by run up get eaten goes into the liver does his thing and then reproduces and the cow defecates and then the cycle starts all over again by the way, there are parasites that will control human beings' brains as well. Uh, I didn't have time to put it on there with this whole another series of videos that I actually ended up watching on how humans can be controlled by microscopic parasites, okay, that can get into your blood and get into your brain. That made me really start to rethink this whole mark of the beast thing. Okay, when you look at the mark of the beast, you say it also it causes all both small and great, both rich and poor, both free and slave to be marked on the right hand or the forehead so that no one can buy or sell unless he has the mark. That is the name of the beast or the number of its name. This calls for wisdom. In other words, pay attention. Let the one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is 666. And I talk about it quite a bit in my first book and in the Babylon Rising DVDs and stuff, how I believe it's Nimrod. And in Nimrod and his various associations, there's 666 all over the guy. Uh, everywhere. But uh, so I believe that that's where it traces back to Nimrod. But we see that in Revelation 9, 5, and 6, it says, They, the locusts, uh, they came up out of the bottomless pit, were allowed to torment them for five months, but not to kill them. And the torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it stings someone. And in those days, people will seek death and will not find it. They will long to die, but death will flee from them. Everybody talks about the market of beasts. They say, Well, they can't buy and sell. Well, yeah, that's true. That's part of it. But what about this part? They beg for death, but death flees from them. You know, anybody see World War Z? Or, you know, yeah, I mean, some of these movies coming out of the zombie apocalypse. You gotta wonder why the CDC is actually having drills about the zombie apocalypse. Government tax dollars are going, our tax dollars are being used by the government to do drills for a zombie apocalypse. Why? What's going on with that? Well, there's a uh, number of things we need to check out here. It's Revelation 19 20. And the beast was captured, and with it, the false prophet who. In its presence had done the signs by which he deceived those who had received the mark of the beast and those who worshipped its image. These two were thrown alive into the lake of fire that burns with sulfur. Now, I remember back in the 90s, a lot of people were talking about the barcode. I was. That was one of them. You know, it's the barcode. So you got 666. Let's a little bit. Now, a lot of people talk about the microchip here and extracting so-called implants that people say they have and, and his, his theory that uh, you know, it's changing people's DNA. So it could be that maybe all of this is involved. I don't know. But I've become a lot more intrigued by the idea that the mark of the beast may really have more a global pandemic. You know, it's a Hegelian dialectic. Cause a problem that everybody has a reaction to. That and even greater works because I'm going to be with the Father. Yeah. Now we can oh, it kind of goes over scripture. I shared the... Um... I shared the uh, video in the chat. Let's go to, while we're on this topic, let's go to this one. I found this one before the stream. 
okay and i skimmed through it this is from conspiracy rs let's check this out people i forgot what it began with let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Parasitic mind control. And looking at the chemical. Yeah, let's, let's get to this and we're going to move on from this topic. Chemical imbalance myth and how that ties into schizophrenia uh, as well as some other things. But before we do, uh, I'd like to talk about a movie real quickly that actually focuses on parasitic mind control. You know, what better way to ease us into this topic than talking about the movie called They Live, which is uh, one of these cult classic movies. And I'm, guess, I'm guessing most of you have seen it, but it, it kind of sums up pretty well the way that things uh, seem to be uh, going with our current society. But They Live, I believe, was a 1988 science fiction movie directed by John Carpenter. And it follows this unnamed drifter who is played by Roddy Piper. Uh, and he discovers that the ruling class are aliens uh, concealing their appearance and manipulating people to spend money, breed, uh, and accept the status quo with subliminal messages in the mass media. And it's not until, um, in the movie, it's not until he finds these sunglasses and he puts them on, and those glasses allow him to see the form of these these entities, these parasites, and they're, they're very hideous. But they've conscripted... Uh, all you know members of the police and the government and government officials and agencies and uh, all these people are working with these parasites so it's this one massive conspiracy basically and he tries to figure out how to there's a signal that's being sent out and it's allowing these entities to be cloaked but uh, he tries to uh, figure out where the signal is coming from and destroy it so great movie i'm guessing most of you have seen it uh, but what i kind of wanted to bring up before we get into our discussion today is how these parasites communicate with each other using these watches during the movie and there are several scenes where they're all talking into their watches and it's kind of creepy because you can see their true form but um and even the police some of them are policemen and they're talking into their watches and there's even a scene where uh, this gentleman he's uh this is in a bank and he not only does he communicate with the watch but he uses the watch to open up a portal or a gateway that he goes through and it takes him i believe their layer is underground and uh why i wanted to mention that is just because john carpenter he seems like he's one of these directors that they're tapped into what's really going on behind the scenes just like uh, stanley kubrick with films like 2001 space odyssey and eyes wide shut john carpenter almost appears to be the same way so you know you just always wonder is are they trying to tell us something but the thing with the watches what caught my attention with that is when you start looking at these sumerian depictions of the gods uh they've they're wearing these what appear to be these something similar to a wristwatch even though it probably has some other function but you know you've got these deities wearing these these watches and uh, here's a an up close um, a shot of one of these watches and um, and they do seem to like holding that pine cone for some reason, but I think that's supposed to be like the pineal gland. But these, um, it's always the same pattern on the watches too. But uh, this gentleman here, he's got two of these watches, one on each wrist. Um, and here's just one more. But again, these these ruling elite with these watches, and it just makes me wonder how there's a similarity and uh, to the movie where these these elite, these alien parasitic elite, they're talking into the communicating with their watches, opening up portals to their layer underground. And uh, I just thought I'd mention that. I mean, just for uh, just for interest sake. But um, that's enough of that for now. So let's actually start looking into some of the things I want to talk about today. And we'll start it off by talking about chemical imbalance. So let's get started. Now I'd like to get into this subject of uh, chemical imbalance myth with regards to schizophrenia because I came across this interview uh, on a channel called Night Flight and the interview, she interviewed this person by the name of Jerry Marzinski and he is a mental health healthcare practitioner and counselor with 35 years of experience both in the state hospital and uh, both in a state hospital and in a prison system 
And what really caught my, what resonated with me is uh, he talks about chemical imbalances and how people who are hearing voices or schizophrenic were told that they have a chemical imbalance. And as he, uh, as we, as you're going to find out when you listen to the interview, the science behind that statement is not there. There, there really, we don't really know what the cause of these voices is. And again, this resonated with me because growing up, there was uh, uh, another family that was friends with my family growing up, and the chemical imbalance myth, people. And remember, on the last one. If it was the last one that we did, um, we were showing um, in the 1800s, 1900s, all these insane asylums popping up out of nowhere, all of a sudden. These orphan trains was like this big reset. And then all these giant insane asylums worldwide to put people that aren't with the program into these insane asylums, and they were injecting them with parasites. Keep that in mind, too. And they admit schizophrenia is caused by a parasite. You know what I mean? All these voices and stuff like that. Keep that in mind as we go along here. They had a son who was about five years older than me. And he ended up developing schizophrenia in his early 20s. Now, he tragically uh, ended up losing his battle with schizophrenia and the voices, and he took his own life. And I just remember thinking, what sort of mental disease manifests as voices which are always negative? And it just never really sat well with me. But I, it was a long time ago, and I just hadn't really thought about it until I saw this interview. And Jerry Marzinski, he interviews a lot of these patients who are hearing these voices, which is something that is typically n not done. And he actually asks them, patients, about the voices. and Because there's a lot of uh, unsettling patterns to these voices. Uh, as opposed to just random delusions, there's a, a consistency to a lot of these voices. So I'm just going to present to you about 25 minutes of this interview. And there's just so many mind-blowing things that were brought up. And I couldn't capture them all in the video just for time constraints. But I'll leave a link to this video. And I want to thank this channel, Night Flight, for allowing me to share um, share some of it with you guys and of course i will leave some links and uh, so i'll play 20, about 25 minutes and i'll come back after and we will finish up good evening everybody this is night flight i'm judith Kroba, and tonight i have jerry musinski with me he has been working as a mental health pr practitioner and a counselor for 35 years and i'm very happy to have him here and his insights so jerry so i don't know if we're going to get to this whole thing but let me before i forget let me share the link to this in the chat real quick. What's up, Crunchy? We'll at least skim through most of it. Mazinski, welcome to Night Flight. Okay, thank you for having me. It, basically, I've been at this for 35 years. I worked for seven years in the biggest state mental hospital in the United States from there about uh, 18 years working in the psychology department of a state prison and that's where I learned a lot. So what sparked your suspicion that there might be something else going on than what the official... Oh, I, I can tell you that. Um, the, the first suspicion I had and when I, when I first started work at the state hospital, I believed like everybody else. I was taught, and everybody else believed, that this was a chemical imbalance of the patient's brain and that these medications and what they were were major tranquilizers somehow temporarily straightened out whatever that imbalance was. But as I watched a number of different psychiatrists, they never gave even one course of lab work to try to check and see what that chemical imbalance in the brain was and how far off it was. You know, like, you know, regular doctors, they'll give you blood work and you have all these scales and they say, well, it falls in between this scale, you know, so it's high, it's low, it's in between, we need to do this to bring it up. 
No, it wasn't that way. All they would say is, oh, yeah, it's a chemical imbalance in the brain. And that's exactly what the drug representatives were telling them. So the first thing I noticed is here they are saying there's a chemical imbalance, but they don't know what it is. They have no way to measure it. They have no lab tests for it. They have no EKGs or EEGs or anything else that will definitively show that there's a chemical imbalance. And if there is a chemical imbalance, which of the 32 or so neurotransmitters in the brain are imbalanced? They have no way to measure it, but yet they're going out there and they're going, it's a chemical imbalance. And these drugs will, will set it right. So that was my first clue that something was off. Here they kept pushing this chemical imbalance, which they had no proof for. They had no measurement for, um, and, and they had no lab work. So, you know, what's going on here? You know, wh wh why are they doing this when they have no proof? So, and at what point did you decide to encourage the patients to talk about their voices and what they are hearing? I think that was after one of the common things that, that I saw uh, in working with these uh, schizophrenic patients was that their voices would often tell them to kill themselves. You know, they were, they were no good. Um, and, and they didn't talk much about. Hold on. And we went over it. I don't think I'm going to find the exact thing because this isn't just a. You can see the S word um, linked to parasites, common parasite linked to people taking their own lives. T. Gonda is a common parasite that once ingested travels to the brain where it can cause subtle changes over time. It produces in the cells of primary host, which is linked to S risk. Cat parasite linked to S attempts. Women infected with, they call it the cat parasite, I'm not with all that, are most likely to attempt the S word than non-infected women. And are you sure, you know, that it's, it's probably, I would say, all of them. Whoa, hold on a minute. Okay, now look at this one. Discover Magazine, those with the highest levels of antibodies were 91% more likely to attempt than uninfected women. Look at this, people. More evidence... Uh, you know, this is 12 years ago. Our significant risk. I mean, it goes on and on and on. This is what they admit. And we all know it's way worse than what they admit. There's always a lot more of the story. Look at that, people. Mm -mm -mm. That, but, and, and they were very hesitant to talk about their voices because every time they did the psychiatrist would jack up their medicines uh, so here were the voices you know in several cases telling them to kill themselves and matter of fact a lot of them did um, so you kind of go well what is this thing telling them to kill themselves um, and if the psychiatrist heard that you know somebody reported to them that the voices are telling this patient to kill themselves right away they're put on suicide watch it's treated as a serious threat they're locked up uh, they're they're drugged up they're filled with antidepressants and antipsychotics and, and they're put you know in a room where they can't hurt themselves until they're no longer suicidal so the psychiatrist would act as if the voices were real and there was something substantial to them when they heard that the voices were telling these patients to kill themselves they and um schizophrenia right hold on well let's continue the video i'm gonna find something i don't want to would react like, you know, somebody stuck him with a hot poker and they, okay, lock him up and order these medications and don't let him out until he's not suicidal anymore. But anything else the patient tried to tell them about what the voices were saying were completely blown off as hallucinations. Why are they treating the voices in that case where they're telling the patient to kill themselves as real and reacting to them as real, but anything else the patient tells them that these voices are saying is considered. Okay, real quick. Hold on. So I can see the internet's going to be messing with me here again.
There we go. Schizophrenia is a chronic, severe mental disorder that affects the way... Listen to this, people. That affects the way a person thinks, acts, expresses emotions, perceives reality, and relates to others. It's a mental health condition that affects a person's perception of reality and behavior. Schizophrenia is not a common... As other men, blah, 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 get on my face, you clowns. This is, everybody has some level of, of forget about the word schizophrenia. Everybody has a level of um, being affected, being manipulated in the way we think, act, the way we express our emotions, and the way we perceive reality and we relate to others. That is going on in everybody on some shape or form people and you just have this big range just like um you know people diagnosed with autism or this or that schizophrenia is in all of us people but well, i want to use that word schizophrenia but we all are affected by this people and it almost always is in my opinion for entertainment purposes only a microscopic parasite that has crossed our blood brain barrier and is um doing all this people mind-blowing 